Nerd Soul. Yeah, late L Kid at one youngster holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people? Today, oh, today we got another wonderful episode of On Screen. We're gonna be talking movies, we're gonna be talking TV, and it's gonna be dope. And it's just man, it's wonderful to see y'all here. So let's go on and get it started with message from the king. Now, Chadwick Boseman, even though he's been working on Black Panther, he's been working out those Black Panther chops on another project. And it seems like this project is a kind of beat em up, revenge, action, thriller kind of feel because you have this issue where he's a traveler coming into town. People seem to be scared of him, uh, worried about his presence coming in town, knowing that he can shake things up. And when I mean shake things up, I mean beating people up with what seems to be, I guess, a chain wrapped around his hand. So we know the dude is serious. One thing that we get from him, because he doesn't speak a lot, is that you hear him say at the end of the teaser, at the end of the trailer, is she was my sister. And that is a, a large, I guess, reveal to the idea of why he's coming back to this town or this city, because the shots we see him in, he is not to be played with. So we also get a nice little clip of him with another young lady sitting and she's telling him a story about the city and kind of like her feelings about the city and even about her daughter. And you get to see kind of like this quiet, silent type that definitely brings the pain. So what say you? How do you feel about this new trailer? Because Man, it seems to really be killing it from the whole kind of like strong silent type, you know, uh, I guess John Wick, Jack Reacher kind of like, you know, guy kind of blows in from town, kind of Western type feel where a guy blows into town. He's coming for revenge, he's not playing, and he's taking names. So, you guys jump down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this one because I am truly feeling, you know, a very, very good vibe about this. You know, it's, it's I'm, I'm definitely all up for a knockdown, drag out kind of action movie. I love action films. I came up in the golden age of action films. So, this one seems to be no different. So let me know what you think because I'm I think I'm digging what I saw in the in the trailer. I'm I'm up for, you know, a little bit of pre-Black Panther action, if you would. So anyway, we're gonna go and move on and holler at me in them comments. So uh next up, Netflix is switching things up just one more time for everybody. See, they're changing their star rating to thumbs ratings. Straight up thumbs up. Or thumbs down. Now, I know a lot of people are probably thinking, oh, well, I love the stars. I love the stars. I say star ratings. You stay with star, star ratings. We all say star ratings. But for some reason, they're changing this up. Thumbs up or thumbs down. And that's it. And they said they've done a lot of A-B testing on this. And it seems that they've gotten like over 200% more engagement on whether people want thumbs up or thumbs down. And also, they said that there's a situation where people might rate this hard-hitting documentary five stars in a sillier movie like two to three stars, but still watch the silly movie more than the documentary, which kind of harkens back to what I always talk about in my films. Sometimes I might rate a film high and people will wonder why I rate a film so high. And it's because I judge something that a lot of people don't judge, which is what I consider replay value. How many times can you watch this over and over again? For instance, Shawshank Redemption very good movie. I am not going to watch Shawshank Redemption as much as I watch Coming to America. Um, the Piano, great movie, right? But I'm not going to watch The Piano as many times as I watch Bad Boys 2. It, it's just not going to happen. And I think that Netflix has noticed this as well. So they're changing this up just a little bit to see whether people like it or don't like it and tailor that a little bit more with their algorithm to what they're gonna serve up to their users. Now, also, Netflix, oh boy, Netflix. 
you really know how to get them. See, there's another article where Netflix is talking about theater chain specifically saying that they have not innovated at all in the last 30 or so years, saying that only the popcorn has gotten better. Now, I know Netflix and theaters have been beefing for a long time. They want movies to come out in the theater and home at the same time. And I don't know if that's a great idea, but to Netflix, yo, look, I know you guys are hot. I know ain't nobody touching y'all. I know y'all are doing your thing. And I love your stuff. I review a whole bunch of Netflix content and movies. But Netflix, come on, man. Theaters have definitely innovated since in the in the last 30 years, man. Come on. I mean, even you know that. I mean, we got IMAX, digital light projection, all kinds of these, like you got like I don't know, Dolby 68 or something. There's, there's tons of things that make the theater experience better than the home experience. The home experience is cool. Do not get me wrong, but come on, man. The, like AMC Prime, yo, you know, Cinemark XD, you know, come on, man. But that's not the only thing. See, Netflix is also setting records. Just last month, well, excuse me, month before last, in January, they set a record for 250 million hours in a day of streaming content. So Netflix, all in all, seems to be just steamrolling ahead. Normally, I wouldn't talk about Netflix like this, but it seems like something that with all of this news coming and as good as Netflix is doing, I'm interested to see how y'all feel. Now, before I go any further, you know I gotta give a big shout out because to all of my people that I'm just seeing now in my second week, I gotta say what's up to. And those are the people at Black Hollywood Live. What's up? You can check me out also right now on blackhollywoodlive.com where they do interviews, they follow Black Twitter, they do celebrity interviews and after shows. It's crazy. And if you want to see more, you can go to youtube.com slash Black Hollywood Live. It is extremely dope. And I am so happy to be a part of that. But if you guys are extremely excited about Black Hollywood Live and you're extremely excited about streaming, let me know what you feel about in those comments about Netflix as a whole. Are you feeling the stars, the thumbs? Are you feeling the whole comment about theater chains? And what do you think about their stream record? Is that a big deal or is it not? Because Netflix seems to really be coming with it. And I don't think we're giving them the credit they deserve, but at the same time, maybe they need to tone it up a little bit. So anyway, let's go on and move on with uh, next up is a little film called Slight, coming to us from WWE Films. Now, this trailer looks very, very grounded, very cool. And even from the Fandango quote in the actual trailer, it's kind of like Iron Man meets Chronicle. Now, it opens up on this kid that seems to be a magician, and he's pulling these tricks. It looks like, you know, he's making things float, and, you know, he's just astounding people with the way he's able to move things, you know, seemingly without touching them whatsoever. But deeper into the trailer, we get to find out that maybe this isn't a trick and more of an ability which is super cool because see, this kid is on his own. It's him and his sister, their parents have passed, and he seems to be under the wing of another man we know as Gus from Psych. But in this case, I don't think he's in the most legal of businesses. And that business leads this young man down a path that I don't think he'll be able to come back from unless he changes quickly because things go bad on a job that they're from and he seems to want out very fast. Now, seriously, I'm loving this trailer. I think it has just what I need, you know, from a powers perspective, from an action perspective, from an origin story type perspective where I'm very intrigued. I want to see more of what's coming. Now, this trailer says that this film is coming very soon. We should have it in a little over a month. So what do you think about this one? It's, you know, you, you got the, you know, you got the tied up with the, with, you're tied up with the, the sister. You're tied up with, you know, drug dealers and kind of like bad men. <laughs> you're tied up with this new girl that he's trying to meet. All these storylines coming together, plus him dealing with trying to build and enhance his powers and abilities. What do you think about that one? I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm very 
interested to see how Slight turns out. Like, is this gonna be one of those sleeper hits that we never saw coming, kind of like John Wick? You know, I mean, of course, it's a different type of film, but same thing, you know, John Wick kind of came out of nowhere. We saw the trailer about a month in advance and then boom, it was crazy. So could this be the same thing? Could this be one of those movies where you watch it and you're like, wow, I never knew anything about this film, but here we go, you know? So jump down in the comments. Let me know what you think about Slight. I'm kind of hype on it and I'm really interested to see what this movie turns out to be. The cast looks dope, the action looks dope, and the origin aspects, it looks, I guess, fresh enough for me to get right into it. So you guys jumped out in the comments and that is my time. And since that's my time, I gotta tell y'all to head up thatnerdsoul.com, that's right. You can find all my videos there from the oldest to the newest, no matter what I'm doing, I am there, ready to holler at y'all. Then don't forget to hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player and don't forget to get one for them playettes. Then, Come back here, like, comment, and subscribe, and share that nerd soul because there is no way that I can tell people that you, that what you are watching. And of course, my shout outs gotta go to LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart. And please be good to yourselves, be good to each other. Peace. Peace.